Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G Bears Off Gridways, a homestead in the desert. And look at what we got here. This is not a window. This is a Fresnel lens, spelled F-R-E-S-N-E-L. And this comes uh, from the front plastic screen of one of those big screen TVs, the rear projection types, that used to take up your whole living room with just the TV. But anyway, that uh, lens on the front of it is uh, a Fresnel lens, uh, invented by a man named Fresnel, a Frenchman who uh, actually invented it as a death ray and uh, he would burn enemy ships out of the ocean as they approached by placing a giant one of these things up on top of the rock of Gibraltar so anyway I'm going to try to get this done pretty quick because I just came back from uh, shooting I had 15 minutes of video when I was going to getting ready to do the closing and it cut out on me because the phone overheated. So I just had it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes and it's nice and cool. We're we'll trying to get through this right now. So, to show you how this thing works to start with, and I'm going to warn you, if you do get one of these and you, or you make one up or whatever, do not, do not get the focal point, the light that comes through it from the sun onto anything flammable or don't make sure you don't point it at your legs or anything like that because it will instantly burn you. This gets hot fast and I'm going to show you how fast. You see there's a piece of wood right down there. I put that down there for a specific reason. So let me grab my Fresnel lens and get this table out of the way. And the Fresnel lenses have two sides. One side is smooth, and the other side has little ridges. So the ridges go downward towards the whatever you're going to heat. Uh, you'll see when I pick this up, you see there's a light going through it already. And it gets hot fast. So let's watch this. Um, watch that piece of wood. I'm going to try to focal on, focus on it. There it is on fire. That's how fast it is. That's how hot it gets. That's amazing. I love the smell of burning wood. Anyway, um, that was the first part of the experiment. The other thing you want to do is never leave this thing anywhere where the sun could move in the sky and go through it. I also recommend that you get yourself a pair of uh, um, really thick dark sunglasses when using it because that focal point is as bright as an arc weld you know how they tell you don't look at a, a weld when somebody's welding because you'll go blind so you do want to wear your um, sunglasses a, a really good uh, I use my soldering glasses and I just have to take them off as soon as I can because I can't see through without the um, without the beam there all right so the next thing I'm going to do is, I have a complete set of these pans I bought years ago, uh, the porcelain coated pans. Now, I got this out here for a reason because this is going to go end up going in my um, solar oven. And I've been working on the solar oven, so that'll be coming up soon. I hope to have it done by the weekend. Anyway, inside of here, I have a little... Uh, thermometer that came off of a barbecue and it's saying about uh, 102 degrees or so and that's right that's I just checked inside when I was in there it's about 101 102 somewhere around there so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put this pan down there and I'm gonna focus the beam from the Fresnel lens on it and see how hot it gets in there in about one minutes time uh, I don't want it to go too long. I might even abort if I see any smoke coming off of the porcelain. Um, that means it's too hot. And for cooking um, with the Fresnel lens, I'll end up having to put a metal plate on there, a nice thick one, so I heat the metal up instead of the, the coating on the pan. But let's give this a try. So I'm going to take this over here. And I noticed I needed to move the um, Fresnel lens quite a lot. So... 
I'm going to put the pan all the way up there. And let's see if I can't get this in a good position here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, here comes the lens. I know, remember the old saying, here comes the judge. Alright, so, oh. Okay, well, I've got to move the pan back, so excuse me for one minute. That's a good angle there. And that's a good focal point right there. I don't see any smoke coming off the cover, so that's a good thing. Let's leave it there for a few seconds. Just out of curiosity, let me set this down a second. I happen to have a laser thermometer right here. So let's see what we get. It says it's uh, 500, five, 520 degrees. That's Yeah, I'm seeing 580 there. I'm fluctuating as I move the beam. I've got to build a stand for this that holds it holds it steady at the right angle. And I I got to make adjustments on the uh, unit so that I can so that I can adjust the beam to where I want it and then set it and then. Move, move it as the sun moves. Anyway, here's the, uh, oh, it just shut off, darn it. Um, that last shot I took at it was 445 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty darn hot. So get the phone in out of the sun here, and we're going to call this a wrap. And uh, I didn't put my... Um, welding glasses on and now I'm having trouble seeing the uh, the time on the video but we're gonna call that a wrap as soon as I go check the thermometer in there to see where it's at so let, let me go grab that Ooh, that pan's hot All right, well, it didn't go up that much. Uh, got about 110 degrees inside the pan, but that was only for a few seconds. So it jumped up about eight degrees in that, what, 25, 30 seconds that I had the beam on it. And uh, I have a feeling that uh, once I get that set up, it's going to create quite a bit of heat. All right, everybody. That's it for right now. I think I'm a little over nine minutes. My eyes are starting to focus again. So we're going to call this one a wrap. And we'll see you again on the next video. This is G-Bear reminding you, don't forget your thumbs ups down there. And don't forget to share and subscribe. And I had to do that because I didn't do it last time. 
and uh, Tortuga Lisa uh, called me on it. So that one's for you, Lisa. All right, everybody. This is G-Bear signing off.